65 is on the road here in Washington, D.C. at Google's Public Sector Summit. AI is the topic of discussion, and it has been, quite frankly, for the last two and a half years. And of course, public sector customers want results from their investment in it, but in public sector, there definitely is a heightened uh, look at security uh, as well as governance. And of course, everybody cares about this, but there's just that heightened security. One company that is really making some major inroads in the public sector uh, is Google. It is my pleasure to introduce Elizabeth from Google Cloud. Great to see you, welcome to the show. Thanks, Pat, I'm delighted to be here. Yeah, so I just want to hit it really up front. One of your most differentiated products is Gemini. And I mean, you're blowing away all the leaderboards on, on so many different metrics. And I'm curious, talk about how this actually delivers value, differentiated value uh, to your public sector customers. Yeah, that's a great question. Thanks, Pat, and I, I love talking about our products and our AI products in particular. Um, Gemini, as you mentioned, has been on the top on the leaderboards and that's yeah. super exciting. Um, the Gemini family of models is our most advanced right. uh, models. Advanced thinking, reasoning, it's a perfect fit for agentic AI solutions, which our customers are looking to invest in right now. But it's more than just Gemini, the model. We right. actually are built on this truly unique, full stack approach to support Google's AI. It starts really at the very bottom. Right. Google's cloud infrastructure is really a perfect fit for AI workloads. Uh, we have custom AI chips that we've developed yes. in-house, our TPU chips. We have our own privately owned uh, fiber network across the globe that really helps to ensure that our you know, AI workloads and powerful yes. infrastructure is working well for our customers. Um, on top of the infrastructure, we have those wonderful models brought to us from our research arm, Google DeepMind. Right. We bring those models to you through a variety of platforms and tools. Uh, we've got our agent development kit that we've developed, which allows you to, to create AI agents that can be used in our tools or with others. We're very open systems, uh, which is another benefit of our, of our approach. And then finally at the top layer, we have this beautiful, just friendly Google-like interface right. with our Gemini for government application that is sort of the front door, if mm -hmm. you will, to agentic AI. You can use it as a chatbot, but you can also connect to your enterprise data, different data sources like SharePoint or ServiceNow, whatever you have in your enterprise, you can use our front door, Gemini for Government, to connect your data, get real value from the Gemini interpretation and analysis, all with citations, because as you mentioned, our government customers care about security. They want to know where their data is coming from. They want to know that it's grounded, their results they're getting. And so that's one of the things that Gemini for Government does. And you can create your own agents or rely on the first party or third party ones that we're surfacing in this just beautiful, yeah. easy to use interface. I appreciate you up leveling the answer because the full stack is, is very important, but if you don't want to use the full stack, let's say a model, uh, that's okay too. And that's the way that uh, all industries uh, in addition to public sector are embracing this. So uh, I'm glad to hear that. So mm -hmm. I want to drill down on your security approach. Uh, two things in particular, software defined isolation, but also certifying of the commercial cloud. Can you walk through yeah. what are those and what are the benefits that uh, your customers can see? Yeah, I, I love this. I've been working in the cloud for a long time yeah. and this is a really unique approach that we've taken at Google. Instead of creating a bespoke of cloud, we've actually chosen to go through the process of certifying and accrediting our commercial cloud. The same commercial right. cloud that enterprise and commercial entities have access to, we are now bringing to our government customers. Right. And our government customers love this. Um, Defense Logistics Agency, for example, um, they obviously are one of the large SAP customers in the world. Right. They are leveraging 
Google's accredited IL-5 cloud with our nine regions in the US, because we've certified our commercial cloud, they can choose from the nine regions, which means they have access to a lot more infrastructure. The newest and latest features um, that we're bringing to our commercial cloud are available to them, and that's really appealing. We do this uh, from our Google Cloud data boundaries that's delivered via assured workloads. Okay. That's a mouthful, but what you, what you need to understand really is that we make it simple for our customers and we're protecting them by making that, you know, those accreditations happen. Both FedRAMP yeah. and impact levels for the Department of Defense. So, one of the things I really like, I mean, it's almost like having your cake and eat it too. It's certified, but it's the, it's the fresh vegetables, right? Because <laughs> a lot of times, uh, certified technologies, it, sometimes through the procurement process, can be three, four, five years old. Mm -hmm. I had a conversation uh, today with somebody that this is one of the challenges that, that, that are in there, and I think what you're doing here is, yeah, you're definitely, they can have their cake and eat it too. I love that. Gemini for government is a perfect example. Right. Um, this is a pretty new product that we've rolled out just over the last year. We've already got it accredited at FedRAMP right. and IL-4. So we're able to bring that to our government customers right away for them to use. It's a great example of yeah. what, you, what you just commented on. And that private network I mentioned that underpins Google Cloud, that's another benefit of our approach. Yeah. Um, our customers can rely on that, you know, Google Fiber Network, uh, we automatically by default encrypt communication and yes. data across that. Um, so it's another, just another way that we are really taking that sort of secure by design approach all the way from the ground up. Um, Google was, you probably know, one of the pioneers, the pioneer in zero trust architectures. Yes. Yes. And that is really where this you know, um, obsession over securing our, our our entire commercial cloud is coming from. So we talked uh, Gemini, we've talked full stack, a lot of security, uh, having your cake and eat it too, <laughs> new technology that's certified, which, uh, which is good. What are some elements uh, related to uh, data platforms and AI that you're uh, readying uh, public sector's customers for or yeah. with. Yeah, so our customers are really looking. I, I will, Pat, one thing that's really important to note. With Google, we are an AI company first. We've been there for mm -hmm. a long time, many, many years. Um, lots of innovation. You were doing AI before it was cool. We were doing in AI fact, before it was cool. In fact, uh, University of Toronto research which led to image object recognition, which was first implemented by Google. So there, machine learning, you were there first, and you wrote literally the paper on generative AI. That's on right. Tra on transformers. <laughs> Wait a second, who's interviewing who? I was just going to ask the same question. <laughs> <laughs> but you're right, we wrote yeah. the paper on transformers. And so I, I say that, you asked about data, how is right. that relevant? I say that because we're really embedding our AI technology across our entire platform. So for users who are leveraging uh, BigQuery, mm -hmm. they actually then can you know, get instant um, access to our AI models to analyze that data that's inside BigQuery. If you're leveraging Looker, our data visualization tool, you can actually leverage now natural language to interact with Looker and create the best possible um, dashboards yes. for you. So what we're doing is taking that approach of an AI first company and really integrating that throughout our platform. And so we're really seeing you know, customers across, um, across both our state, local, and our uh, federal um, practice really take advantage of that. Yeah, and one of the biggest challenges is you know, the government didn't start uh, two and a half years ago before generative AI, and they have a lot of systems where they need to be able to tap into that data uh, my company did, you know, we, we've written multiple papers about your, your data products, mm -hmm. and one of the things that I like is that, sure, if you want to start over and create, let's say, a data lake, or, which is not a reality, t I mean, particularly with the government, um, uh, but tapping into the data that's already there. Maybe mm -hmm. it's for a procurement system, right? And pulling that in with a data fabric to be able to uh, leverage gener generative AI on top of that, that is super, super important. And 
you know, for the Clifton, I've been following Google Cloud since its, its inception, and uh, that that was that's where you started as your biggest differentiator. Mm -hmm. And carrying that yeah. through, and the importance now of data related to AI. I mean, listen, in 19, I don't know, 80, 85, I had first computer class, garbage in, garbage out. But mm -hmm. it, it's really amplified with generative AI. And then you, you take that to a ne the next step, uh, agentic AI, where it's actually performing things. Mm -hmm. We're doing multi-loops, your data has to be in a good state. So uh, mm -hmm. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. So a lot of the talk this year has been about defense and national security. And not that we never talked about it, we did, but there seems to be a heightened discussion about that, particularly things going on South China Sea. I'm curious, how do you bring your tech to bear? I think you recently won some major contracts in there. Mm -hmm. I'd love to hear the contracts, uh, what they entail, and maybe how you won, how they were differentiated, why were you chosen? Yeah, um, it's a great, great area to focus. We're really excited um, that we just uh, recently announced our partnership with Department of Defense, their Chief Digital and AI uh, Office, CDAO. Right. Um, there's a $200 million contract ceiling award uh, that Google was awarded, and that is for you know, frontier AI. Right. The great thing about Google, we won because of that differentiation. We have that full stack approach to AI. So yes, we have the Gemini model, which is amazing, and our customers are going to be able to get a lot of value out of analyzing tons of data mm -hmm. at one time, you know, all the things that AI can do. But in addition to that, we have the robust cloud infrastructure that's really built yes. for AI. Um, and we have the platforms, as you mentioned, we can allow you know, developers to come in and access our models. And we also then have that Gemini for right. government user interface, that same Google-like experience that you come to expect from Google, right. simple and easy, but will allow you to access our first party models, third party models, um, agents that you build or third party agents that, that are in there. Um, even Nano Banana. I don't know, Pat, if you've heard oh, about yes. Nano Banana. In fact, my uh, <laughs> kids used it and sent me, you know, a couple things <laughs> based on it. So that's, that's great. Funny. So we really, you know, have this differentiated approach that's really starting to resonate. Yeah. Not to mention, we actually partnered with GSA earlier this year to make some special offers available. We have a significant yeah. discount on Google Workspace, which includes our Gemini. Yeah. Um, Gemini and Google Workspace, and in, on Gemini for Government, as I mentioned, less than 50 cents for an agency <laughs> for the first year. We have that great promotional pricing. I saw that and I literally <laughs> didn't believe it, and I had, to, I had to do the double take, but that's, yes. It's pretty exciting, and really the, the reason we're doing this is because we want to make sure that we're helping government right. get access to the latest tools, try it out, and make sure that you know we can help them on this journey to leverage the most advanced AI technologies quickly. Yeah, and the one thing that, that screams, I mean, whenever you're doing business with national security agencies, uh, you are secure, mm -hmm. okay? I mean, uh, highest stringent levels of security probably on the planet, so I know it's not just as simple as a checkbox, but you could even do a mic drop there. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but in, in cause you know, some some people, it's funny, it, it was a, mischaracterization of Google probably 10 years ago, though they're the consumer company, mm -hmm. right? What people didn't recognize was just how secure even that consumer data was. Yeah. Uh, and listen, I, you never want to say it never happens, but I'm unaware of even a consumer Google data breach. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm very familiar with even the technologies that are used to get in and out of uh, your data centers. But uh, I digress, but it's great to have Google technology uh, uh, behind this uh, now, it's, it's great to see. Yeah, yeah, we're really excited, yeah. yeah. So typically, I give you the strategy question first, <laughs> but I wanted to dive into the meat of the conversation here. Um, talk to me strategically how you're approaching the federal government differently uh, than others, because obviously there's a lot of money, there's a lot of opportunity, and everybody is 
it, everybody wants to get in uh, on mm -hmm. this. It's during, particularly during this digital transformation for AI. Yeah, you, you hit the nail on the head, Pat. It's really, this is the moment for yeah we're at this AI inflection point. Yes. And so Google really wants to help the government adopt, learn this technology and be able to leverage it yeah. safely, securely, but also now and not wait for years. Um, so we're doing a lot of things to partner with the government. First of all, we have Google.org announced a $15 million education fund that allows our government uh, our government users to get trained up on Google technology. Right. We've been working, as I mentioned, very closely with GSA on these new offers that will allow our customers get access to the Google AI technologies like Gemini and Workspace yeah. and Gemini for Government at a fraction of the cost, less than 50 cents an agency for, <laughs> for Gemini for Government. Um, and we also are working really closely with some of our key partners in this space. I'll talk about Lockheed Martin, mm -hmm. for example. Um, I didn't mention earlier, but our Google Distributed Cloud recently got our IL-6 certification for secret workloads in the Department of Defense. That complements the top secret accreditation that we had already gotten okay. uh, for that same platform. But what Lockheed Martin is doing is they are leveraging um, that Google Distributed Cloud to bring Gemini to on, their on-premise AI factory. Yes. Um, and that is a real benefit for our customers because some of those really sensitive workloads are going to continue to run on-prem. We are supporting that too by bringing Gemini to the customers through that GDC product at IL-6 and above. We also are supporting, um, are working with partners like um, Palantir. Palantir's Fed Start program right. is allowing ISVs like Anthropic to get their uh, FedRAMP certification and IL-5 certification faster through that Fed Start program. And so we're really working with not just our products, we are really an open ecosystem here. And so we're working with multiple partners that are working with the government already right. to make sure that we're bringing our products to market in a way and in a manner that works for them. Well, you you name two partners that are the core right now here in DC mm -hmm. and that, that's really strong. And I think we talked about this in the green room, but uh, GDC is a very strong product for you. Mm -hmm. And the fact that they can get Google experiences on top of on-prem infrastructure, it, it is what some people want and you're delivering it. So hats off to you uh, for, for doing that. Thank you. Yeah, we Game covered changer. that as well. It's Very really good, exciting. yeah. So Elizabeth, uh, really appreciate your time, uh, great insights, understanding what you're doing here in public sector, how it's differentiated, and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Pat. Love being here. Appreciate Thank you. It. This is Patrick Moorhead with the 6.5 on the road here in Washington, D.C. at Google's Public Sector Summit. Thanks for tuning in. Check out all of our Google content and content here at the show. Take care and hit that subscribe button.